And if you're getting ready for that race or others as we get down when it's going to be hot, right? Tom has more on a new study out of ASU that shows how a heat acclimation program could help even you weekend warriors. Tom. Yeah, this is a fascinating study because as the summer heat comes, I'm always concerned about how much time I spend outside in that heat, but I still want to exercise out in the heat. And of course, I've got an expert with me. Forrest Wardenar is with me. Hi, Forrest. How are you? Good. How are you? Tell everybody at home what you uh, teach at ASU. I'm a sports nutritionist, so I teach nutrition to our undergrad students, and I also do uh, sports nutrition for our graduate students. Very cool. Now you did this really cool study and I'm a big fan of ramping up as you go into ju uh, June and July so that you can exercise outside but it actually pushes you into August and September. Tell everybody how the study worked because I, you're gonna have me get in on this bike. I know you had people working on these bikes. That was part of the study. Yeah so what we did is we had people biking for 60 minutes for mm -hmm. five days Uh huh. and we had a control group that wasn't doing that at all and um, the idea was that with that extra exercise that we were able to get them more acclimated in the summer. Yeah. Now, it's 113 in here. I believe that's what it says. How hot did it get in here for the people that were in the study? So it was sort of similar. So what you're experiencing now, it was what we had in the study going on. Yeah, how did you track their temperature? Show everybody the different uh, styles of how you actually did that, because it's fascinating. That one kind of blows me away. Yes. People actually swallow that thing. Yeah, we, we have these temperature capsules, and, and the fun part is that they have a memory. So you can swallow them, and then afterwards you can read out the actual temperature. So here this recorder is now reading out 33.6 Celsius. Uh -huh. in, in science, often we, we, we report in units, I international units. Yeah, what else do you have? You have that uh, belt there? Yeah, this is a heart rate monitor so uh -huh. that we could see if you were putting in the same amount of work every time. Yeah. And then um, another fun um, um, tool that we have. You got those magnets. Yeah, it's, it looks like a magnet, but it is actually a temperature sensor. So we apply them to the skin, so like this, with some tape over it uh -huh. and if you start sweating it will alter the the temperature of the skin bottom line with this study what were you hoping to find florist what were you trying to help tell people that they they really can ramp up and make their workouts effective late in july august september if they start earlier what were you hoping to find so so one of the things that w that i wanted to find was um a lot of people believe that we're living in a hot environment so that we are already acclimated i wanted to show that you, you, you still can improve. And even with a short amount of exercise, uh -huh. let's say uh, five hours within five days, yes. um, to see if that helps to improve performance, uh, performance markers in, in our athletes. And this is something that our Sun Devil athletes, for example, can use in uh, improving their performance. Yeah, so like the soccer teams, when another soccer team comes to town, ASU's guys are already going because they've been working on all the hot stuff for a while. Yeah, I love the ramp up idea. And of course I got Corey's shirt. This is what Corey looks like when he's either laughing or he's gassed. And so I think Corey might need to start ramping up his summer workouts for us. Thanks for the information. So the bottom line, the bottom line one more time for us. If you wanna acclimate, you need to go outside. You can do it that intense as you were doing. If that's not your thing, just make sure that you are outside a little bit longer and a little bit less in your car. There you go, back to you guys in the studio.